For more than 100 years, the Belknap Hardware and Manufacturing Company was a staple along Main Street in Louisville. I actually bought my first bedroom set from there. Now, 40 plus years since it shut down, the company is making a comeback. Addie Miner sat down with Ian Belknap and shows us what the company is planning to offer. The history just repeats itself. You know, it's just, it's just about when and where. Ian Belknap is ready to write a new chapter in the history of his family's hardware business. That's what he started in 1840. Oh, wow. Look at that. Three, really cool. That's the three-story house. William Burke Belknap ran the company, the founder, uh, from 1840 to 1880. His son, William Richardson Belknap, took over from 1880 to 1908. And from there, the company was passed down from generation to generation growing from that three-story building to a 37-acre campus along Louisville's riverfront. As a catalog company, they sold different products across the country, from lamps to bullets to fish hooks, knives, and even sewing machines. But they were known best for their tools. Fast forward to today, we've got the camping hatchet right here. This is our first tool in 40 years. Modeled after one of the company's original hatchets, it's a multifaceted tool. Sharpened edge, we've got a nail puller, the hammerhead or the face is cross-hatched to prevent slippage. Although it's not being manufactured in Louisville, Belknap says the product is quality guaranteed and made in the USA. It's grade A materials. I know it's going to hold up. Right now, the hatchet is the only product the company is offering, but Belknap says more tools will be coming soon. I'm getting so much in, uh, feedback from Belknap. You know, everybody wants me to make this, make mm -hmm. that. I'm thinking, though, the next tool really will be like a jersey axe. After that, Belknap says he'll see where the journey takes him. Long story short, I, I feel really good. And I feel like I'm honoring my ancestors, too. You know, I feel like they're looking down, smiling. Addie Miners, WLKY News.